Hi foodies, Jenny here. Foodies, let me know how many of you as a child thought Parasad was something only around press time or Diwali. Well, <laughs> that is what I thought when I was a kid growing up because we were of a different religion. And you know, Hindus make the Parasad and the Muslim make the Malida. If I'm wrong, leave me a comment, but that's how I knew it. So come on into Jenny's Walk and let's put some lovely Parasad together. I'm gonna use this, my dear foodies, for the next four days as my dessert. Let's get started. Foodies, today I want to make a little bit of Parasad. How many of you know what Parasad is? Yep. But this is not for prayers. This is only because I'm feeling like munching on so something. So what we're gonna do here is some cream of wheat. I'm doing a mixture, but I'm adding more cream of wheat than flour. So let's just give this a little parch. If you have suji, you could use suji also. So by parching suji or the cream of wheat, you're just going to cook the rawness out of it. And it's just gonna give it a lovely nutty, nutty flavor. So this is coming up really nicely, low heat. And I'm gonna add a little bit of flour. Just all purpose flour does the trick. Give it a little sieve by sieving your flour. It just allows a lot of air to go through that. There you go, that looks marvelous. So let me continue to part until it gets a beautiful color that I'm I I'm gonna like. add my ghee in the pot and I want to cook. We're gonna cook this now into this ghee or if you have butter, you can use the butter. So just raise that heat up a little bit now and let's just cook this nice and low until it's get really bubbly and nice. So there you go foodies. The smell in my kitchen is to die for. The nuttiness from the roasted flour and that cream of wheat and the ghee infused in the air. Oh wow, this smells so great. So we're gonna continue on very low heat. You're just cooking that up really lovely. Fully infused now with milk. Now this milk has the sugar already in it. Now what we're doing here, we are cooking. So I'm gonna add all my, there you go, all my milk in and very, very low heat and just keep stirring it. We add, what are we doing? We are cooking the flour and the cream. Take a look. So this is coming really nice. They just have plenty more cooking to do. So at this point now, I want to add my cardamom. A nice generous sprinkle so this is going to add lots of flavors in there and I have here some vanilla sugar so this is like if you're doing puja you could use this to flavor up instead of using those um, liquid the, the vanilla um, what is almond extract vanilla extract those other stuff you could use this because this is what the Mediterranean and the Muslims and you know the Middle East that's what they use in all their because you know they don't use the, the alcohol give that a good mix and i know some of you like ginger i don't really like ginger too much but i will add a little hint of ginger to this and give it a good little mix and let's continue because this have to start letting go and getting like that little bowl of parasad right so here we go give it a good mix you see how it's loosened up nicely i want it to loosen up a little more than this but at this time i want to add all my raisins in there so that could get it infused and swell up and let its juices out also into this lovely cream of wheat and a little bit of flour parasad so there you go foodies our parasad is all done now and you know you could just take it and make a nice little bolita or a little bowl like so and you see that amount of oil in there so you know it have enough it's not too much of an excess so as a kid this is how we used to eat it nice little bowl and we break it mmm delightful mmm I love it so you know this is gonna last me for four days halwa halwa or parasad whatever you know it as lovely dessert here from Jenny's walk mmm give it a try simple and easy do it share some for your neighbor share some for your friend Parasad here from Jenny's Walk. Always bringing great flavors to the table. Quick and easy meals, simple and easy to put together. Give it a try. From my kitchen to your kitchen. Happy cooking.